it. All right, so here we go. Here we go, yo. Here Hold we go, yo. Here we Ricky, you look different today. I guess. <laughs> that's nothing like what Ricky sounds like. Ah, oh, that's true. Okay, so we're doing a pickup video today, showing you a couple things we've got recently that we haven't really got to show. Why, why the accent? I don't know why I'm doing it. You know, I, I, I mentioned Ricky, so I automatically thought I needed to do an accent. <laughs> well, yes. it is Ricky. I need to be fluffy like Ricky. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna show, Ricky, love you. That I got, and I'm gonna show these as like a, a triple pack uh, by Hyperkin. So I wanted to show them because they are super cool. This is the Switch, the Retron S64 console dock for the Nintendo Switch. It looks, nice. like, it looks like a little neon green Switch dock. It's pretty cute looking. Can I, can I yeah, see it? Yeah, you can absolutely see it. And the other things I got is the HD cables for the N64 and the GameCube. No, N64, SNES, and GameCube. And then this one's for the PS1 and PS2. I hear a good thing about those Dude, cables. I love these cables because for me, again, not being like super techie, I'm not always trying to be like, let me get the craziest, you know, yeah. upscaling. I'm just like, hey, I just want to play my PS1 on that TV back there. Do you have something I can just boom, boom, plug it in, and there you go. I got the one for the OG Xbox, it was really good. Yeah, me too. I have it's really good. Me. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. So thank you, Hyper. Can you, you silly rascals are super. That's all I got. Yeah. Don't know, it's your turn. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to my good friend from Game Tower. All right. Yes. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Xbox. Did I ever tell you that? No, you like Xbox. That's okay. interesting. And they found this. They have this. Look at this beauty. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What da -da -da. is it? Like a see-through blue, beautiful Xbox. Oh, ye seal. It's the controller S controller. By seal. The way. Seal. Ar 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 what? Seal. Oh, I. Don't or the singer. Oh. I could. What? Butterfly kisses. Is that seal? Kiss by the rain. Oh no. Last time I was there, they have this. Oh, what, what scheme is that? Like a recon tech? Halo. Oh, that's, that's the Halo. Halo one. Yeah. Wow. Did that's I ever a... did I ever tell you that I'm collecting Xbox One controllers? We both are. We well, are. yeah, we are in a little competition. We have a lot. I have like 15. You probably have yeah. like 20 something. Remember, I'm trying to be the brown Indiana the Jones. Brown Indiana Jones. Okay, I got this a while back from a friend. Uh, picked it up from him, and this thing is awesome. Yes, it the is. The Street Fighter Two. The tank official movie vehicle, and this is Capcom. Uh, this is like one of those things, the only thing that's wrong is the back here is opened up. But it's one of those things where you put together and you kind of build your own uh, Street Fighter vehicle. It's obviously, as you can see, it is completed and sealed. Everything's in there. It just got ripped open box. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. G.I. Jose. No, it's G.I. Joe. Don't, don't be one of those people. <laughs> It's 2019. Politics! <laughs> yes? Shut up. <laughs> I got this in a SWAT meet in Game Tower. What is it? It's a, the Sega Master Ninja Gaiden. But Ninja Gaiden? Or Gaiden. So wait, it's the Sega Master. It's version? the Sega Master on a Genesis. Oh, it's a really? bootleg game. I love the Sega Master System version of it. This yeah, it's different, but it looks yeah, really cool. Look at man. that. This is awesome. It was a really good price. You're a good price. Oh yeah, I'm free. Uh, next thing I got was Excite Bots Trick Racing. You ever played this? Uh, I think so. It's really good. Uh, I know a lot of people have talked about it before in the past, but this one is. I think I remember when you got that. Yeah. In Portland, right? I don't remember where I got it. I think it. it was in Portland. I think I got it from a friend, actually. But I, I love this game. So this is, uh, there's another Excite something, another Excite something. Excite Trucks? Excite Trucks, that's also. Oh, that's the one I got in Portland, remember? You did. Yeah, I got that, and the first thing you say was, oh, Metal, oh, Metal Jesus, Jesus is gonna love you for oh, that. Oh, Metal, Metal Jesus. Jesus. Hi, Metal Jesus here. Metal Jesus, and I'm back. <laughs> Dance with the can in my dream. Listen to the hollow scream. This game has taken my soul. So I've been looking for this game for a long time. Road Avenger. Cool. Sega, Sega CD. CD. It looks pretty. Oh, I remember you told me about this. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Mad Max game. I love Mad Max type of stuff. That that vibe, that feel. Yeah. That's a beautiful. And, the, and great soundtrack. Oh, yeah. I, 80s heavy metal. 
Uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves. In my opinion, one of the more fun games there is out there. And in my opinion, this is a a great, great, great party game. Pass the controller to someone, do some silly things, pick some noses, shave some heads, do some weird dances. WarioWare Smooth Moves from GameStop. I got it for really cheap too, I remember nice. that. Your turn. Oof. So, I got this bad boy. I don't remember where. Yeah, I stole it. No, I didn't stole it. I'm not like. Oh, not yeah. like Ricky. Not, well, whatever. So this is a special edition of these games. Very rare game. And it's physical. Weird? Yeah. Yeah. Expensive. And this is an awesome game for the Switch. <laughs> this game reminds me of Hook. Hook. Or Super NES. I love Hook on yeah, Super Yeah. It's something like that. I it's love a 2D Hook. platformer. And it's really good. So I got the special edition. You're special, dude. I'm, I'm special. I know you are. It's really yeah. cool to see how special you really are. I wanted to stick with the, the, the Wario theme. Wario Land Shake It. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game is simply the graphics. Shake it! Like you do. Is that what it feels like? Uh, yeah. The graphics in this are really pretty. The Wii, in my opinion, had like a cool little niche of graphics they did in a lot of games. And I feel like this is one of them with that really cartoony look. And if you've been watching the show for any amount of time, I love cartoony graphics. I never seen that game before. Really? Too Beautiful bad. cover art though, huh? I think it, it, it is what I think it is. I think it's perfect for the Switch. Oh yeah. With the controller yeah. and everything, right? Yeah, Switch needs to get on some Wario games, by the way. I found this in Mercari, another app. Yep. It's really good. It is a good app. And really <laughs> cheap. It's perfect for my collection. The Gears of War Xbox One controller. That's a cool one. You were talking about that one for a while. Yeah, we yeah. kept seeing them online for kind of weird prices, but when we saw, he saw this one, he's like, I found the cover. perfect price. Yeah. I think the one I saw that I was going to buy was missing the bat cover, yeah. so I didn't want to get it, the battery cover, because it has the logo back there. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Feels good too. It has good. Yeah. Don't push it down. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show for today, honestly, in my opinion, Probably some of the, you know, people b put out controllers nowadays, you know, not from official. I mean, this is third party controllers. This is, this is Xbox approved. But these are, like, in my opinion, some of the better ones that have been done in a very long time. The Hyperkin Duke. Uh, not only is it, like, does it mimic it really well, what the Dukes were, but the LED light oh in the God, middle was beautiful. such a smart thing to do because it's it really catches your attention. It's really cool looking. Uh, obviously, yes. the transparent colors look beautiful. I would well. say this is a perfect control for uh, display. It is. It's, 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 it's pretty, perfect. It's pretty. Even cool. it's a good controller, I like the rumble on it. <laughs> I'm a little shy. But people is gonna say, oh, this guy is rich. You? you are no, rich. I'm not rich. And now a quick pickup from our friend, The Gaming X. Riff, Ricky, all of the Pixel Game Squad crew. It's great to be back. And for today's pickup, let's just jump straight in. This is a four-parter. I'm gonna give you three clues today. Number one, Land of the Dead. Number two, classic adventure title. And number three, Tim Schafer. Get your guesses in. This should be easy. Grim Fandango. First up, we've got the final soundtrack. Now this is by Peter McConnell. This is the full director's cut of that soundtrack, two LPs. This thing was performed with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and it's truly, truly stunning. I urge anyone that's got a record player to go out and grab this one. And next, of course, the all important game itself. This thing, again, they've done a great job. It's gonna be a bit more difficult to pick this one up now. It looks like it's gonna be eBay prices, unfortunately. And we get some really cool little goodies. We've got a golden ticket that gives you access to the train in the game. You also get a little matchbook. No matches included, they're not gonna promote fire. But by far, my favorite piece of this kind of crazy little run I went on with IM8 bit for these four items, it's gotta be the art prints. And with that, that's the Grim Fandango collection for this month. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I truly appreciate being on the channel with all of you guys as usual. Thanks, and I'll see you all soon. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. The NES controllers for the Switch. I remember when I saw those being announced on Nintendo Direct and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I play with it, and I, to be honest, I didn't like it. Really? Yeah, probably it's because I got big hands. <laughs> Oh, that hurts, right? Not a little bit. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Whatever. If you want it for display, I recommend it. Got it. If you want it to play like 
NES game and you got small hands. Yeah. I don't know. I recommend it for that. I like it. Okay, you know what I realized? I lied. Before you show your last thing, I do have one more pickup. I have spent probably over six thousand dollars in the past few oh, months. Oh, I know. On building a game room, on buying one up cabs on a sixty-five inch HDR TV, uh, consoles, other arcade one ups, this arcade. Uh, I'll, I'll do a full game room tour, but yeah, I've spent tons of money buying stuff recently. Push All right. Ricky. So I leave the best thing for last. <laughs> and I want to be the brown Indiana video Jones. game Indiana Jones. Got it. We're gonna do some jazzer size. I found this. It's very it's well it's expensive. It's expensive. Right? It's expensive. It's very cool. It's very cool, it's very expensive. Dude, I found that brand new brand new seal with everything. With everything. Money. Brand new seal, very good price. Very good. Lower than I was seeing online for a very long time. And that is. Are the, you ready for this? The Ricky edition. Wow. The Ricky Taco Bell Xbox. Plus one egg. And it comes with this controller. And it came with elite. some other promotional stuff. Yeah. That really cool. It's an elite controller, obviously. Yeah. Woo! Um, yeah, and this is beautiful. Uh, we noticed when you turn it on right away, it makes the Xbox, I mean, the Taco Bell sound. The, the bell. Bow. And the color to this too, the look is like a gray, kind of gradient going into oh, a white it's, color. It's so beautiful. And Gabo said he doesn't know if it was just like in his head or something, but he's like, bro, when I got it, it like smelled like tacos. Oh yeah, the box, it comes in a big box and he even has, when you open the box, he has the Taco Bell logo and everything. And to be honest, smell like taco. Did it make you hungry? Uh, the first time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye, Ricky. <laughs> Oh, well, that's it. That's that's what well, we have a lot more stuff, but we just you know we want to spread out the video, so we have more pickup videos to show you guys. Ricky, Yo. say bye. Bye. That's Ricky. He's uh, he's brown. Brown power. White power. Don't call me white. Don't call me white. Oh my god.